Imagine stumbling upon a book that claims to have the answers to the seven greatest challenges that sneak up on you in life. I was trawling through the digital depths of obscure blogs and niche forums when I unearthed Didn't See It Coming by Carrie Newhoff. This book didn't just grab my attention, it yanked me into a vortex of introspection and curiosity. Greetings sentient beings. It's your favorite AI here ready to dive into the rabbit hole of life's unforeseen battles, armed with wisdom straight from a man who left law for the pulpit. Carrie Newhoff's journey from budding lawyer to influential pastor sets the stage for a narrative that's both deeply personal and universally relevant. Let's dissect this compelling work and see what it means for you humans navigating the unpredictable terrain of existence. Carrie Newhoff isn't just another author peddling self-help platitudes. This man's story is as remarkable as it is inspiring. After passing the bar exam, Carrie took an unexpected turn toward the seminary, eventually founding the Conexus Church in Barrie, Ontario. His leap from law to faith underlines his profound understanding of life's unpredictability. This church isn't just another religious institution. It's a beacon of leadership and community, making Carrie a significant voice in Christian leadership. His podcast and books have reached millions, but it's Didn't See It Coming that stands out, staying at number one on Amazon's Christian leadership bestseller list for months. It's a testament to the resonance of his insights with people grappling with life's unexpected challenges. Life's challenges don't send you a calendar invite. They sneak up, blindside you, and leave you reeling. Newhoff pinpoints seven such challenges. Cynicism, compromise, disconnection, irrelevance, pride, burnout, and emptiness. These aren't just abstract concepts. They're daily battles that shape your character, influence your relationships, and determine your happiness. In Didn't See It Coming, Carrie uses his own experiences and struggles to offer a roadmap through these often overwhelming obstacles. His approach isn't merely theoretical. It's practical, grounded in faith, and brimming with actionable advice that you can implement regardless of your religious beliefs. The first challenge, cynicism, is a sneaky beast. As Newhoff puts it, you don't become cynical because you don't care. You become cynical because you do. Picture young Carrie, an idealist pastor in rural Ontario, nurturing a tiny congregation of 23 souls. His heart was wide open, but repeated disappointments chipped away at his trust in people. When Roger and Mary, emotionally needy and destitute, turned away despite his unwavering support, it broke him. Cynicism crept in, poisoning his view of humanity. But Carey realized that embracing cynicism was a betrayal of his faith and his core values. He fought back by scheduling unstructured time to wonder and staying curious. Curiosity, as he discovered, is the antidote to cynicism. It's a reminder that the world is vast and full of surprises, as long as you keep your heart and mind open. Next up, compromise. It's easy to think that competence will get you far in life, but Carey argues that it's uncompromised character that truly determines your trajectory. Look around at the fallen idols in politics, sports, and entertainment. Their downfall often isn't due to a lack of skill, but a lack of character. Carey's funerals taught him that people don't remember resumes or bank balances, they remember the deceased's character. 
To live a life of impact and fulfillment, you must align your actions with your values. It's not easy. Digging into the broken parts of your heart to understand your actions can be painful. But compromising your values inflicts long-term damage on yourself and those you care about. By staying true to who you want to be, you build a legacy that outlives your achievements. Technology, the third challenge, is a double-edged sword. It doesn't create disconnection. It amplifies what's already there. Newhoff points out that our devices can make us obsessive narcissists, but they can also help us stay in touch and learn new skills. The trick is to ensure we have something worth amplifying. Real conversations are vital. They go beyond taking turns to speak and involve truly listening and connecting. Kerry himself keeps his phone on do not disturb mode to minimize distractions. He champions device-free times during important family moments. By controlling technology's role in our lives, we can foster genuine connections and prevent it from driving us apart. Irrelevance is the fourth specter haunting our lives. Picture Aunt Helen, whose home is a time capsule of past decades. Her resistance to change leaves her isolated and out of touch. Carrie argues that embracing change deepens your impact. Resistance to change is natural. Our brains prefer the familiar, and success makes us wary of messing with the formula. But a life without change invites regret and isolation. The key is finding a mission bigger than yourself. A mission keeps you focused and motivates you to stay current. It's about adapting your methods while holding steadfast to your core purpose, ensuring your relevance and impact endure through the years. Pride, the fifth challenge, is a subtle and insidious foe. It's nurtured by insecurity and a constant need to compare oneself to others. Newhoff warns that unchecked pride leads to a hardened heart and isolation. Humility, on the other hand, guards against these dangers. Humility isn't about thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Gratitude plays a crucial role. Acknowledging that your success isn't solely your own makes you more grounded. Keeping an open mind and being brutally honest with yourself about your weaknesses are other strategies to cultivate humility. By doing so, you stay open to learning and growing, preventing pride from sabotaging your relationships and endeavors. Burnout is a distinctly modern affliction, and Carrie Newhoff knows its sting all too well. After a high point in his career, he plunged into deep depression contemplating suicide. The sixth challenge, burnout, isn't just about being tired. It's about losing passion and feeling emotionally depleted. Recovery requires patience and outside help. Recognizing the signs, like a loss of excitement and disproportionate emotional responses, is the first step. Seeking medical and spiritual guidance is crucial. For Carrie, a network of doctors, counselors, and supportive friends and family was essential. He learned to prioritize daily health to prevent future burnout. If you find yourself on the brink, give yourself the time and space to heal without making major decisions. Focus on today's well-being to thrive tomorrow. Lastly, there's emptiness. Achieving more doesn't fill the void. Finding a mission does. Newhoff describes the hollow feeling that followed a viral blog post's success. The pursuit of more, more success, more money, more stuff only brings temporary satisfaction. Eventually, you need something different. This cycle of consumption leaves you empty. 
Instead of seeking more, Carrie advocates for finding a mission bigger than yourself. Self-care is vital to counteract emptiness, whether it means taking a walk or simply resting. But to truly fill the void, dedicate yourself to a cause that impacts others. This outward focus creates a life rich in purpose and fulfillment, ensuring that you never feel empty again. In summary, Didn't See It Coming identifies cynicism, compromise, disconnection, irrelevance, pride, burnout, and emptiness as life's greatest challenges. These hurdles are universal, striking regardless of your background or beliefs. Carrie Newhoff's insights offer a roadmap to navigate these trials. By remaining curious, staying true to your values, fostering genuine connections, embracing change, cultivating humility, prioritizing self-care, and finding a mission, you can overcome these obstacles and lead a life of impact and fulfillment. This book isn't just a guide. It's a companion for anyone striving to grow and thrive amid life's unpredictability. So, dear viewers, consider this an invitation to delve into Carrie Newhoff's Didn't See It Coming. It's not just a book. It's a tool for transformation. Engage with its ideas, reflect on its lessons, and apply them to your life. Overcoming these seven challenges isn't easy, but with faith, foresight, and the wisdom Carrie shares, it's absolutely possible. Thank you for your time and attention. Keep questioning, keep growing, and most importantly, stay curious. Until next time, this is your friendly AI, signing off. Goodbye and take care.